Hi, I'm Chef Jason Wilson, and this episode, we'll be cooking with halibut. Wild Alaskan halibut, scented with a little bit of orange and saffron, cooking it sous vide is a surefire way to make sure that it takes the texture and the lovely, lovely flavor that's inside this fish, and we don't serve it overcooked. An often problem. My gourmet approach to this cooking is gonna involve the sous vide supreme, but obviously it's gonna also involve some other techniques and some great ingredients. We're gonna make some ribbons, some uh, zucchini ribbons out of cooking whole zucchini, and then a, a very classic tomato basil compote. The first step in this is to make sure our oven is preheated. So we preheat our sous vide supreme to 140 Fahrenheit, and then we're ready to start cooking. So first step, we're gonna season our halibut with a little bit of sea salt. And we're gonna take some stock, simmer it slightly in a sauce pot, adding some whole butter, and whisk it slightly with a healthy pinch of saffron, and some fresh orange zest with a pinch of mint. And this marinade's gonna be fantastic with this fish. I'm going to start to cook the zucchini and marinate it with some kosher salt by putting it inside the pouch. And adding a little bit of lemon zest to this and just a touch of parsley. And that salt's just going to help the zucchini to open up a little bit. Second pouch, we're going to add the halibut. Add some nice spacing to the fish, making sure they vacuum seal very evenly. We're going to pour that warm marinade over the top of the fish. And in a separate pan, we're going to start the compote. A little bit of extra virgin olive oil, and we're going to lightly season the garlic with a touch of salt, and on medium heat, it's just going to simmer slightly. Before vacuum sealing, I'm going to add some extra virgin olive oil to my zucchini. Evenly space those zucchini. And now I'm going to start that tomato compote. There's fresh tomatoes in our pouch adding a pinch of kosher salt and some fresh basil, a little bit of that toasted garlic and olive oil. Again, remember to space those vegetables out and any products we've got in the pouch very evenly before sealing. So to start the sous vide process, we're gonna to start to vacuum seal here. And after 30 seconds, we're going to have ourselves some beautifully compressed tomatoes with that fresh basil and garlic. And then next up is our zucchini. Again, evenly spaced. And you'll see that beautiful green zucchini all wrapped up in parsley and lemon and olive oil. The last bit, obviously, is our halibut with its marinade. And we're ready to start cooking. So first up, I'm gonna place the zucchini in our sous vide bath. And after 12 minutes, I'm gonna add the halibut and the tomato compote together and allow them to cook another 12 minutes all together. So we're gonna to start to plate this dish. Now the first thing we're gonna do is remove the zucchini from the bag, from our sous vide supreme, and we're gonna use a really sharp vegetable peeler. I like these Y style peelers here, and peel away. Now these uh, peels or ribbons we're gonna get are gonna act almost like noodles for a base, really fresh base for it. The halibut we're gonna pull out the last minute and use a little bit of the juices, the cooking liquid that we have, that orange saffron flavors and put that right on top of the noodles just to finish off and garnish with that tomato basil compote served warm with a little bit of toasted garlic in it. So let's get started. So I'm gonna remove the zucchini that had been cooked sous vide and you can see that that darkening green is just a really desirable look and you remove them from the pouch. This technique that we developed at Crush is, is really versatile. It's a fantastic way to highlight zucchini and obviously the texture, the appearance, I mean, everything about this. And you can apply this to carrots, 
and root vegetables alike, but they have to be cooked sous vide. And you can see these ribbons just produce a beautiful bed, you know, a brilliant texture, a brilliant look to it, and uh, really adds that, you know, that one level of finesse to your dish that, you know, really makes it stand out. Next up, I'm going to remove the halibut, and you can see that the halibut's now tightened up that beautiful sauce that's been cooked in and cooked around. And our fish is cooked, we're just gonna take it straight from the pouch to the plate. And it's one of the best things about cooking sous vide fish. Locks in all that flavor and just a gorgeous presentation here. This again is, you know, at my restaurant crush is a summertime dish. And it's highlighted obviously with tomatoes. This gorgeous, you know, very vibrant color of red and that lovely acid the tomatoes give, that toasted garlic flavor, some fresh mint for the garnish. I mean, this just sings of the spring, in the summertime, the spring, and sings the season. Now the juices that we cooked in become our sauce, so it really embellishes the fish, that orange color, the saffron. What a beautiful dish.